Yeah, so. Okay, gorgeous. Welcome. Come on here. Let me um find who um is gonna be coming to us this weekend on September third. Kevin Durand will be arriving on Saturday. Something on my nose. Okay. Kevin Durand. I have to do this because it's unsanitary. Okay, I have to do that because um, to talk about something like this and not have your hands washed fully and to feel totally secure about it is psychologically unsanitary. So... Anyway... Kevin Durant. When I first found out who this person was, I was like, I've heard that name before. Doesn't that, you know, doesn't that sound like a name of somebody whom you've heard before? Now, I just want to kind of take a dive and a look into just who this person is. It's like, I don't know why I never do this with all of you. <laughs> to just talk about who this person is so that you can understand who we're going to get into and who we're going to be meeting before we actually meet the person. <laughs> it's like, why in the... How many years have I done this? Um, one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like 10 years, 10 plus years I've done this. I have never
All right. Sometimes when I'm eating, I just feel something move. So you might hear me doing something really random and out of the blue. And I don't just do it for any random reason. I am reacting to something that I feel and something that suddenly comes on in my mouth. So if I do something in the middle of this sentence that's just surprising and weird, know that I didn't do it for those reasons alone. Actually, I didn't do them for those reasons at all. And I'm not going to repeat something that I said earlier. So anyway, Kevin Durant, let's see who we are um, looking at. So um, you all are going to be starting to watch Lock and Key. In the theater. Tonight, actually. And we'll still be watching it when he comes with to the convention. And he can watch um, episodes with us. But. We've all seen Lock and Key before. Anything I watch, you watch. And that's kind of how it is. Because you never know. There will be a guest that I want to invite, and um, I want to talk in shorthand with all of you, so that's why I want you to watch the same things that I'm watching, so that if any guest comes, you'll know the story behind why I'm inviting them, and what they're famous for being in. The certain poems or stories or films that make a celebrity a celebrity. However, Kevin Durant is famous for being in Lock and Key. Now, the last time that we've seen Lock and Key was... When I started my YouTube channel, way back in October, and now I'm not going to change it. I have to fight with myself tooth and nail. I am not going to change it. All right. Oh, okay. Not the person that I thought that he would be. When somebody plays in a film and they dress up, they have a new hairdo, they change the color of their hair, they maybe have glasses on or whatever, it can very well change a person's custom. A person's custom of okay. So, getting back to Lock and Kate. Remember what happened in the very last episode. And um, actually, <laughs> you all rewatched the episodes. I know that you all did. Um, that last weekend, you know, it's like 
when you're, you know, when you're me, you have to be on the ball. You have to take action and initiative at the smallest thing, at the smallest little, you know, like little um, inkling of something because you never know what it could turn into. So, remember what happened. That the demon girl revived, channeled back into being, brought back Captain Frederick Gideon, if I'm not mistaken, and announcement, there will be a concert prepared by a Bimbi. Um, oh, not her, Minton. Um, I have to ask her, let me be, um, Shoop to remarry. I really, really do. Otherwise, she has to take her, um, I don't know her middle name, but I'm going to have to ask her to, to put that middle name in there. And I can have certain powers. Because as far as I'm concerned, she was not in the music man. This is the first thing I'm going to give you. And second of all, and I hate to, um, you know, hint, you know, give this hint. But I'm going to do it anyway because I want to be honest. Hint. Number. Okay, so the first hint was that she was not in the music man. She never played in the music man, and she doesn't act like the music man. She never told me that the music man was her favorite musical of all time. Certainly isn't my favorite musical of all time. That's clue number one. Clue number two for why I'm asking, I'm going to ask her to change her last name is because... The Amentans and un, uh, and alike, um, any public place that you're going to go to, most public places are pleasant. Keyword pleasant. And may I also add in the word professional. And may I also add in the words clean and sanitary. Now, don't type it in the chat. Think about it. I'm trying to think of the word. Um, no, I'm not going to use that analogy either. Um, no, think about it. Come up with your own conclusions for what I'm getting at. With, with the, the second clue is... I am not going to have her Minton perform this. I'm going to be having Lubimbi Gross as a Minton do this. I've never had her Minton. No, 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 no. I'm not in control of the Amentons. However, it was written in the system, and I sat down at the table with all of them, and I agreed. That another Amentan leader does have the power to influence and inspire and have somebody else do something else if they want to do it. I don't want to force something down somebody's throat. Dictate that they have to do this, they have to do that. It's not what I believe in whatsoever. Well, Bimby Gross will do a concerto, which is going to be... A French title, and the title is
Yeah, revolutionaire des horreurs. So, yeah, at least that's how it, tra you know, I have to think of another name, actually. Um, it will be entitled, it's terrible, um, what will it be? La guerre contre les demons, the war against demons. It's roughly how it translates in Google Translate. I didn't want to say something that was <laughs> obvious and dry and catalytic on a vein because I want to say somebody super famous. Talk about that. So anyway. And I wasn't being specific there. But so anyway, um, the big song for this concert is And the Walls Came Tumbling Down. I just have to um, find. By the way, type yes or no in the chat if. If you attended Deborah Silverman's Zoom class, master class today, I want to see a whole bunch of no's popping up. But I am asking you to be honest because I don't want you to just tell me what I want to hear. Because that is kind of one of my pet peeves. No, 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 no. I'd rather it be honest and true. That's not been a checkout. Oh. You know, I'm looking on YouTube and people just don't understand that there are other people watching that don't have the same benefits that you have. People show off what they have. Look at me, I have these live stream and in this way of doing that. This way of um, doing... Uh, live streams it's just crazy off of youtube it's ridiculous although it really doesn't matter well it does matter actually um but so yeah that's you know that's exactly why um that was just a reminder for me a little kind of lighting a fire under my self to remind you, you know, to tell you once again, you cannot live stream from a mobile device off of the YouTube app. Nope. No, 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 no. If you do, it'll be taken down or you will have to take it down. That is my rule. And I am not changing my mind about that because I don't want you to present the same message messages that I am receiving from the several creators I am looking at on YouTube right now, such as one who has a live stream title, Be Getting Ready. Can you hear it? First of all, um, bad grammar. And second of all, I don't care. So... You know, you can do this, but depending upon the live stream and how true it is to the YouTube um, live streams off of the app, you will be asked in an email, did you do this off of the app? And you will have to answer honestly, because if you don't, they will, you know, they will look into it and they'll get into your account. And they'll find out what you did. And you'll either have to and <laughs> you have to take it down. So um, that's just what I'm gonna tell you up front. 
All right. Same goes with the community tab. You have Facebook for a reason. There's, I can tell you that the people who post in the community tab, you can find way more on Facebook. They post way more on Facebook. Yeah. Um, I don't want to apologize for something unless it feels true to me. I would apologize. Well, I wouldn't apologize, but I would humble myself if I was using the community tab or live streaming off of mobile device. I would say, hey, or put it down in the description of the video. Guess what? If you want to do this, here's how you can do this. This is what I'm doing. This is how I'm doing it just so that you're aware before you get into whatever I need to get to, or put it in the description of the video below. Either way, something like that has to be in there. Oh, <laughs> if I was doing it. And same goes with the community tab. You know how, you know, that's like a piece of skin holding on. That's like your hand is barely gripping a rope. It's just barely okay, barely okay, barely a rule, barely acceptable. You know, it's just, it, you know, it's, it's so fragile. You could easily break and you could easily and naturally not do that. You could easily just forget to put in the description and not say it in the live stream itself. So it's best to just put substance into your rules and say no. No, 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 no you can't do this. So that's what I wanted to tell you. Now, and I did repeat myself. So, oh, can I just go back to the point that I was originally going to make, which was that there will be a concert called, um, uh, I, I still have to work that out, and the walls came tumbling down song. Please don't show me. <laughs> when the walls came tumbling down, that's probably not. Okay. Um. Okay, let me have to find it. Okay, this is the song. This is the song, and I'm going to play for you a, um, a, a, a recording of the song that um, so this is the um, actually there's a better version of this because it's kind of bath for me to play that for you. It's kind of a, you know, it's not like a crisp, clear sound. That's called a bath sound. B-A-T-H, bath. Because think of like the water and the soap and bubbles that kind of, you know, it's very Neptune, very uh, makes things unclear. Um, sort of not, you know, direct, like areas that just cuts through, like it's, you know, areas and Pisces. Very, very different signs. Let's just get that up front. If you combine Aries and Pisces, you get, well, being frank. And that's basically, if somebody was born on the cusp of rebirth from mid-March, I would say from about March 18th, 17th, through the 22nd or 23rd, and they would be frank. You know, I would expect that they would have a frank personality so anyway um but that's just an assumption um joshua fit the battle of jericho so this is the song that they will be singing One of our next guests, One i'm of not our interested in introductions so this is old can you hear it Come on, let's go. 
Now listen for why I am putting the song in the concert. But then don't assume that it's the only reason for why I'm doing that. Okay, so I'm going to go back and say that you can hear why I'm going to put this in the concert. Because I want to remind you who the um, who um, Kevin Duran played in Walking Key is um, Captain Frederick Gideon. So I just want to remind you up at the front. <laughs> obviously heard Gideon in that piece, and maybe that is the Gideon that is referred to in the song. Let's just assume that it is, because it's actually beautiful. Now, I'm going to have to clear my watch history so that I do ba da ta -ta on ooh, well. Okay, get rid of that, get rid of that, remove all of that. Because I'm not going to go back and finish those videos. I was just, God forbid, I'm trying to find the right song. <laughs> so, um, anyway. Uh, and there's a mantra that I have for this. There is always there for you. You know, like, <laughs> just see, like, just be yourself and be casual and be informal about it. Unless you are in front of an audience with beaming lights on you, a costume, and it's official now. And maybe it'll be put on Facebook or YouTube or TikTok or one of those things. So unless it's a big deal, just be casual about it. Be your, you know, I mean, this goes for if you're having a refined British accent or something. Because it is unprojectile ho -hum. Think of the amount of stuff that you have to do in your day. And the audience and the, 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 the number of people who will be listening. If you're in front of a, an, like a, a, in an auditorium, then okay. But it does come off as um, being, um, it can get annoying and old and irritating very quickly. So be aware of that. Um, but so I was coming back to play, you know, but that depends on the person and that depends on the situation. It really, really does. That's what I want to tell you. But uh, anyway, I don't want to um, get into... Um, when you look at somebody playing in a movie, playing in a TV show, and you consider their custom, consider what comes to mind when you're looking at this person, 
when you're hearing this actor play in this show? What kinds of visions come to your mind? What kinds of events, experiences, occasions come into your mind? For example, and uh, the, this can be so random. Same with face pictures. It's random. Why do, when I see Frederick Gideon in this show, in Lock and Key, why do I see a bowling alley in my mind? Or why do I think of the other day just driving home or in the car home when I saw somebody's porch and like a some cushioned chairs that you can sit in on a um, you know, like a sunny day, um, and I and I was hearing a, um, classical music playing uh, on the radio, and then it was sunny and it was green and it was um, warm outside, August 29th. Um, in the show, I see that person playing Frederick Redding as, like, you know, somebody very, very prominent in American history as being um, a British person at that time who supported the British and who got turned into a demon. He did, he, he wasn't, he didn't just get birthed into a body as a demon. I'm pretty sure that he went to the black door, remember, and those little orange dots, I think that they're orange, they, you know, they shoot out at you and they turn you into a demon. So I believe that that's what happened. When I am looking at Kevin Durand right now, I am not seeing the same things. Instead, I am seeing... Like anything Chinese at all, I see blinds. I don't know why, but I see like blinds on a window. I am thinking right now of Karate Kid and um, Terry Silver. Terry Silver was the sidekick of, um, oh, I forget for the life of me, who is that evil karate teacher? Um, oh, God. Um, uh, I have to go, um, I don't know. I don't remember who the person was. Oh, yes. Chris. Yep. Chris. John Kreese, okay, the sidekick of John, um, who um, helped but not helped, uh, supported, guided, taught Daniel to compete in the Hunger Games. So he looks like that person, not the person whom he played in Lock and Key. Now, Does this put a dampener on my motivation to invite him to the Amenten? You know what? Maybe it does. You know, here's what I realize. Well, is it coming or not? That's the question. He is not. Um, he is not. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> so this was just kind of waste of your time. Because uh, I don't want to have to ask people to wear 
certain things and to dress a certain way that they don't want. Because that's not what I agree with. Now, today is the birthday of somebody whom I knew in the work program. And I mentioned her in my joke in horoscope. You can go check that out. Thank you for watching.